Hi, what's going on guys? Mr. J here with another video today. What I'm going to show you is how to bypass the password on any Apple computer. I'm going to demonstrate this method on a MacBook Pro 13 inch. And as you can see there, I don't know the password on this computer. This will involve a couple of steps, including erasing everything that's on a computer. However, I think it will be worth it because you will be able to use your computer without knowing the password. This will involve a couple of steps, but as long as you follow my directions as I tell you, you should be fine. So we will get started. And so what we're going to do first is uh, go on and click the shutdown button on the screen, and this will completely turn off your computer. After it completely turns off, you're going to go ahead and turn it back on again, and right away hold the Command and R button on the keyboard. Continue to hold Command and R keys until you see this on your screen, which is the option to choose your language. I would just go ahead and uh, click on the preferred language you like. After you've done that, then you're going to go ahead and click on the uh, right arrow and the uh, OSX Utilities should come up on your screen. You're going to go ahead and click on Disk Utility and let that information load up on your screen and then what you're going to do next is click on your Macintosh HD hard drive when you do that you're going to go in and click on erase and it's going to ask you one more time if you like to do so just click on the erase button on the screen this should be occurring on your computer screen so just let it do its thing you'll know when it's done when the blue bar disappears from your computer screen when that happens, what you're going to do next is go ahead and quit Disk Utilities. From the main menu, you're going to go ahead and click on Reinstall OS X and click Continue. You should see this on your computer screen. Go ahead and click on the Continue button on the bottom and this should appear on your screen. Click on Continue as well and then click on Agree on the computer screen. Then you will be presented with two hard drives. You're going to go ahead and click on the Macintosh HD and click on install. Then it's going to ask you for your Apple ID and password. After you enter that information, you're going to go ahead and see a blue progress bar on the bottom of the screen. It's going to give you an estimated time of how long it's going to take to download the OS X, depending on your internet connection. I have Comcast, so it should be quick for myself, so I'll be right back as soon as this is done. So my blue progress bar is almost done, and as you can see there, I have zero seconds remaining, and then this should be appearing on your computer, and this should be restarting itself, and then the Apple logo should come up on the screen. When it finishes booting up, the installing screen should come up on your computer, and what this is going to do now is install the operating system on your Apple computer and it shouldn't take that long. On my computer it says it'll take about 20 minutes so I'll be right back as soon as this is done. When the installation is finished you should see this message on your computer and then you're going to be able to click on the restart and the computer will re restart once more and should be booting up once again. When the computer finishes up booting up, you should be able to see this on your computer. It should say welcome and then it should let you choose your country. Then it's going to let you choose the keyboard style and then it's going to ask you to choose a Wi-Fi hotspot. After you do that, then it's going to ask you if you'd like to transfer information to the computer. I'm just going to go ahead and click on that now and continue. It also, it's going to ask you for location services. Then it's going to ask you to enter your Apple ID and password. I'm going to go ahead and do so right now. After you do that, it's going to ask you to agree to the term and conditions. You can go ahead and click on the Agree button. And then click Agree once more. Then it's going to ask you to set up your iCloud services. You could just go ahead and click continue as well. Then it's going to ask you to set up your messaging. You can just go ahead and click on continue. Next up is going to allow you to set up your Find My Mac. 
pretty much uh, allowing you to find your computer just in case it gets stolen you go ahead and click on continue and the allow screen should come up you can just go ahead and click on allow next up is going to allow you to create your computer account and after you're done doing all of that you can go ahead and click on continue next up is going to allow you to set up your time zone then when you're done click on continue then it's going to ask you to register your device you can go ahead and uncheck that box if you don't want to register then when you're done click on continue then the thank you screen should come up and then click on start using your Mac after you do that your desktop should be loading up and it should be looking a little bit something like this uh, you're pretty much done here and you successfully bypassed the password on your computer so if you found this helpful you can give a like rating down below and for more videos like this, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one.